ABC, it is uh, War God 61 Kevin here, and I got a, a new uh, vinyl hunter update. Uh, mostly used finds, three new finds uh, at the store at the Vinyl Giant, and uh, from uh, there and Orange Records. Finally got to get into Orange Records after uh, probably six months. Um, because of the COVID-19, uh, he he's only open certain days of the week, and uh, so Friday I was in there looking around, I'm glad I did, I picked up a lot of good stuff, uh, mostly used, like I say, three new, new albums, actually remasters, I'll show you those first, which I got over at uh, the Vinyl Giant, uh, they posted them the day before on their uh, website or their Facebook, and I told them to save them for me, initially I thought there was only two but there were three, so I picked them up. So I picked up, uh, I do have this on vinyl as well, but this is remastered. It includes three bonus tracks put out by Nuclear Blast, uh, Halloween, and uh, Straight Out of Hell, number one. Then I picked up uh, Seven Sinners, also with three bonus tracks. Not bad prices, around 22 bucks. And then I did have this, uh, so I was glad that uh, I seen it. This one I didn't see on his uh, Facebook site. For some reason, maybe he didn't post it or not, but I picked up uh, the best of the 25th anniversary Unarmed, also with three bonus tracks, so I did not have this on vinyl. So, have to pick that up. Those are the three new releases stuff, and then I picked up, uh, I'm gonna get these in order here. So anyway, I picked, I don't ever see this guy's material, since he's no longer with us, but I uh, picked this up, some blues, from uh, Clarence Gate Mouth Brown and Blackjack, which was released in 1976, I mean the cover's in got a tiny bit of ring wire, uh, the vinyl is in absolutely uh, almost like mint shape, BG++, uh, whoever had this took very good care. Uh, from time to time I do run into some of these uh, blues, old blues artists, guitarists, and uh, wearing some gate mouth for hours. Number one. Then I picked up an, an OG of this. Uh, I did buy a, uh, a reissue of this, but since this was so good shape, it's almost like brand new. Uh, and I'm talking about the first Almond Brothers band. And I mean, it's on Capricorn Records. And uh, I mean, it's the cover's almost in mint shape. Uh, but so I had to get this vinyl, almost mid shape. It's like the guy never played it or a gal. I don't know. I love me some Almond Brothers. So well titled. Uh, I do love Tull. I don't see. Well, I do see this from time to time, but. The cover looked very good, uh, so I picked it up, and it's 
thinking the same guy that had uh, the Alma Brothers also sold this there. Again, the cover's in like mint condition. But what surprised me when I opened it, it is it's a pop-up. So it is an OG. So I'm glad I uh, picked it up. So there you go, some uh, Jeff Paul stand up. Uh, every time I see this, it's beat up, uh, vinyl shot. So I picked up uh, the covers like brand new. There's a little bit of a little bit of wear. I mean, no ring wear, but it's got a little bit of crease on this. On this side here, I'm talking about Mata Hoople from 73. A classic, classic album here. Uh, of course, all the way to Memphis, Wiz Kids, uh, Ballad of Mata Hoople. But uh, Gatefold, again, an OG. Black vinyl. So, good stuff. Black bottle. I see this from time to time. It's beat up, as you like most of it. Uh, again, this had to come from the same person. So I picked up Alice Cooper. From the inside, so slowly but surely, start to fill my uh, Alice Cooper collection. So there you go, some Alice Cooper. Those are all from the Vinyl Giant, including those uh, Halloweens. Then I went over to Orange Records, and they must have four different copies of this in the used bin section. This is probably the best one of the bunch. Uh, I love Donny Iris and Back on the Streets. Of course, it has the classic Aaliyah. Just some good hard rock, maybe a little pop rock uh, from Donnie Iris. Of course, pick up the album King Cool, which is also very good. Uh, and I, I spun this yesterday, and it, it's been a long time since I heard this. Let's pick it up. So, yeah, Donnie Iris. Uh, I'm a huge fan of uh, this band. Of course, this is uh, minus Juanita Han. It has Ellie Hope on vocals, Bernie Marsden on guitars. Of course, it has Ed Spivak on drums. I'm talking about Babe Ruth and uh, Kid Stuff. I did not have this cutout. Uh, great condition. Uh, vinyl's almost like mint. So, some 70s hard rock. Uh, and then I seen uh, two of these. They're almost like back to back. Uh, so I picked up, I did not have any of this band's material, so I decided to uh, pick some up. I picked up Keel, uh, The Right to Rock. This is a U.S. pressing. You can tell from the back. And then I seen this as well. This is a promo. Canadian 
release. Of course, you can tell by it's got a different back to it. Tell the two different. So pick both of them up. Been looking for this one, a very good copy of this one. I thought finally found it. It was a cutout, but uh, it's very good shape. Normally this is so beat up. Uh, the album is DG Plus Hydra. The Capricorn Records, released in 1974. With some great 70s hard rock. Uh, I picked this up. Uh, I mean, I could not pass this up. I mean, it's almost like brand new. The cover, no wear at all. Uh, it's on Enigma Records. Picked up Striper. And uh, In God We Trust. Two bucks. It's almost mint condition almost. But it also has the original hundred dollar So I'm thinking uh, whoever uh, sold these were, went into two places, the Vinyl Giant and Orange Records, and sold a bunch. This is probably where he went over here to bought Orange Records. But good stuff here. Uh, I picked up uh, an updated copy of this because the other one was a little beat up. Uh, this does have a little bit of ring wear, but uh, other than that, the vinyl is in absolutely pristine shape. It's got a little, tiny little dog ear here, but you can't see it on the front. Uh, Frank Marino and Juggernaut from 82. Uh, I seen this, I jumped on it. Uh, covers in VG shape. A little bit of ring wear, but uh, these are always beat up as well. Uh, I'm talking about uh, Steve Marriott and the album Marriott. Of course, it has the British side. And uh, the British side and uh, the American side. So, uh, if you're not hurt, love Steve Marriott. Of course, he was in Small Faces and Mott the Hoot. Or, yeah, Humble Pie. So, happy to pick this up. Vinyl's in pristine shape as well. Uh, I did not have this. Again, uh, cover's in great shape. Got a little bit of wear, got a little bit of crease in here and there, but uh, overall, uh, I'd say very good. BG, uh, Atomic Rooster 4. About 1973. Vinyl again, pristine shape. They, most of these I paid six bucks or less. And then uh, I never, never see this in used shops at all. Uh, I have three of the other ones. Uh, covers in probably BG plus shape. I'm talking about uh, Blood Rock and the World Wind Palms. Snapped it up. It's got a little punch hole here, but not a big deal. And then uh, this is when I first seen this, I went, "Why did you get this up? And why did somebody snag this before me?" Covers in uh, VG plus shape, no ring wear. Uh, it doesn't even have hardly any yellowing of the cover and I'm talking about Free and Heartbreaker and uh, of course this has Paul Rogers, Simon Kirk, Yamauchi, The Rabbit, Paul Kossoff does play on this on let's see what is it one two three four five tracks so but uh, yeah again the vinyl pristine shape I haven't picked this up. It's a great. 
So anyway, that is all I have for the Vinyl Hunter segment here. Uh, guy, comments, leave below, and uh, we'll see you next time. Take care, everybody.